Hey, what's up, fellas? I'm Ryan, a certified strength and conditioning specialist from theworkoutcorner.com, and you know what today is. It is a great, great day for working out and answering some of your questions. It's exactly what I do here every Monday. I pick three questions from the comment box below. Winner of the best question gets free access to my 8020 toolkit, which contains the five blueprints you can follow to get real permanent results. So with that being said, let's jump into our first question. Ken Handy says, I have an issue gaining because of my metabolism. Really and truly, I'm always hungry. Just can't will myself to eat more than three meals a day. Any advice? Now, this is a good question because a lot of times myself and a lot of people will just brush it off, right? I'm like, all right, dude, like, you've seen the man up and eat some more food. And that may be the answer. You know, I don't know the guy, but I am I like to consider myself an optimist and I believe in all you guys. That's why I'm doing this channel. So I'm going to assume that, you know, this is an issue and, and here's how we at would attack it. And the key, key word I saw in this question is I just can't will myself to eat, right? And that is the problem where... A lot of guys would tell you, well, you just got to, you know, get more will, right? That's not, that's not an answer. That doesn't help. And the reason that you are running into this roadblock is you're approaching it the wrong way and you're trying to bite off more than you can choose. <laughs> that's a pun. But uh, what you want to do, just like I say, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? You need to break things down into smaller actionable items that you can implement and follow, okay? So if you're having trouble gaining you need to you know start by spreading your meals out so you're already eating three meals a day that's good don't add more meals just divide take what you're already eating and divide it into five to six meals so your metabolism's humming throughout the day start there and build use that platform to build and continually add more food to those meals because you're, you've now adjusted your metabolism and also your habits. That's really the key thing here is we're, we're going after the root cause and, and getting our bad habits out and replacing them with, with good habits. And that's all the kind of stuff that I teach you, you know, in the food intake course and even in some of the 80-20 course. And, and that's really kind of one of the underlying issues here is it's not so much the methodologies like what particular thing you're doing it's more of how do we change ourselves and a big a final key I will leave you with is you need to learn how to bend your environment to build your body so just take those questions and think on them and uh, let me know how it works for you all right take care Adele guitar 500 says hey Ryan is it okay to add deadlifts to three chest workout B since it is an 80 20 I don't really see which other exercise covers the lower back all right, so a couple questions or a couple comments on this, right? When it comes to workouts, uh, I think it's it's just kind of unspoken nature that you're going to tweak it, right? Any workout I've gotten, I've always tweaked it based on kind of what I like, and I know that any workout I put out or any workout that, you know, you may get from anybody, you're going to tweak based on your preferences, and that's just kind of the way it is. So it's certainly fine to make any adjustments you feel you need based on your goals and what you're trying to train. Um, that being said, I also like to view workouts, you know, that I put together anyways, as like a nice drink or something, an elixir that, you know, when you start changing things, you're pouring water into it and you're diluting it. So, you know, that's your choice. And again, it's based on, you know, I give you kind of the core and you take it and adjust it based on your needs. You know, for, for your question here, like it does hit lower back, okay? There's an exercise called squats and they work not only your legs, which we know, but also your lower back and your core and your hips and a whole bunch of other great muscles which is why they're such a great exercise all right hope it helps zach black Ops says what do you think about pre-made skillet or stir fry meals good for building muscle or is it too processed hey good question you know sometimes i do like to grab some of these because they're so easy you know you just whip them up throw them in a stir fry pan and and you're done so it's not so much i wouldn't look at this as, as black and white as like these are awful or these are great for you but what you really want to hone and the skill that you i encourage you to work on is is being able to flip those bags over and looking at the back and decoding how it's going to impact you and whether that's going to you know have a bad or negative in, impact on your food intake so a couple things i'd look at you know obviously you want to look at the, the dials of food the fat the protein the carbs where are those at look at the sodium generally sodium is going to be a lot higher on those not necessarily a bad thing but if your blood pressure is high you need just to be aware of that and make sure you're drinking a lot of water and finally look at the ingredients that's really the big one if you look at the ingredients and you're not able to read them because they're crazy chemical words that look like they're written in a different language 
then that's a very strong indicator that it's a lot of processed junk in there and you might want to skip it. But if you can read most of the stuff in there, then by all means, go ahead and give it a shot. All right, hope that helps. All right, fellas, that'll do it for another episode of Mind Food Monday. If you haven't already, check out some of the recent videos up I've uploaded for you. I've got some on how to do dips and a good food I use for building muscle. Uh, Ken, you are the winner this week, man. Thanks for your question. Put a comment in the comment box below so I know you saw this. Get you hooked up with my 80-20 course. Everybody else, put a comment in there for your question for next week. We'll get to those. Have a good week, lift hard, I'll see you next Monday.